Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia represents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. In Ardvin, Western Armenia, the project of a bridge under construction on the largest gorge is half completed. Azerbaijan is captured and destroyed the Chankatak village of Artsakh. The Greek and Cypriot communities of Australia called on the government to recognize the genocide carried out by the Ottoman Empire. Ten displaced families have settled in the village of Shosh. The villagers' weekdays are presented by the head of the community. In Van, the ban on public events has been extended for five years in a row. The fate of the Khachkar with the angles of Hadrut is unknown. The gorge called Tzok Gorge in Artunj province of Ardvin province of Western Armenia is in the list of the largest gorges in the world. It amazes with its natural structure. Residents of the region are looking forward to the completion of the program, according to which it is planned to build a glass bridge and adjacent structures that will connect both sides of the gorge. Hiking trails are also provided in the vicinity of the 2.5 km long, 200 meters high and 70 meters wide gorge, which is considered one of the largest largest in the world and Western Armenia. Some locals seeing the stone walls built in the upper part of the gorge react negatively to the project. There are settlements in Artsakh that you never heard about or read about in the press. One of them is the village of Chankatakh in the Martakert region. During the Soviet years, Chankatakh was called Chinkatakh or Janitakh. During the first Artsakh war, it came under the control of the Azerbaijanis and was destroyed. After the liberation of the settlement in 1994, the residents of Chankatakh returned home and returned their historical name to the village. According to the history teacher of the village school, Vresh Khachatrian, Azerbaijanis have never lived in the village, which is why they tried to destroy it after the capture of the village. Now Azerbaijanis are sitting at the opposite height and even in the Soviet years, this part did not belong to them. It was part of Artsakh. Now it is unknown how they turned out to be on top. When they talk about the era of peace, they should understand that our enemy does not want peace, says the school teacher. During the 2020 war, Chankatak was was not devastated. Women and children mostly stayed in the village, while men fought at the different fronts of Artsakh. The president of the Greek and Cypriot communities of Australian state of Victoria and the city of Melbourne, with the support of the president of Federation of Pontic Associations of Australia, sent a letter to the prime minister of the country calling on the government to officially recognize the genocide carried out by the Ottoman Empire in 1915-1923 against Armenians, Assyrians, Greeks and other Christian minorities. According to Neos Cosmos, this follows a motion of the House of Representatives anonymously adopted on November 20. 2021, calling on a government to officially recognize these genocides. The heads of the community in the letter claim that of 2021, 31 countries of the world have recognized this genocide. The letter notes, it is time for the Australian government to officially recognize this genocide as well. The call was also passed on the foreign minister Maurice Paine and others. The head of Shosh village, Eric Abrahman, in an interview with a correspondent of Artsakh Press, said, After the 44-day war, 10 displaced families settled in our village. We have about 15 houses in the free housing stock, which we will provide to other displaced families after their renovation. About 100 houses were damaged during the hostilities in the village. Immediately after the end of the war, restoration work began. The school is well maintained. It has 99 students, 7 are children from deported families. 29 people go to kindergarten. Garden. There is a church of St. Stepanos in the village, which is a place of privileges of the residents. The head of the community introduces and added that the rural roads are in a deplorable state. According to our intellectual, Shosh is gasified, provided with electricity and water supply. The ban on holding all kinds of rallies, marches and press conferences in Van for five consecutive years has once again been extended for 15 days. The statement notes that the ban was introduced for security purposes as well as in order to prevent possible terrorist attacks and proactive actions to ensure the safety of life and property of residents and to prevent the spread of violence. Outside the administrative borders of our state in 2021, from January 14 to January 28, exclusive, all kinds of rallies, demonstrations 
demonstrations, processions, press conferences, protest actions, signature collections, sit-in protests, anger strikes and similar actions are prohibited for 15 days, the statement said. We want to remind you that in 2016, starting with the statements of the provincial administration, the ban is justified by the security reason in connection with possible action of Kurdish militants or operations conducted against them. However, sometimes the limitation associated with the coronavirus are indicated as the reason. The world of Khachkar's Facebook page published and wrote Artsakh Hadrud. Khachkar withstands Angus or the monastery of Spital Khach in 1346. The fate of this monument is unknown, as it is under Azerbaijani occupation. The photo was taken in the end of the 19th century. Now the musical part, Armenian folk song. <laughs> The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.